Good morning, everyone. Pastor Scott, Veritas Ministries here. I uh, just want to touch base with you. Um, I don't get to talk to a lot of you on a daily basis anymore or, or even weekly. Um, and, um, and, I, and I miss sharing what God is uh, revealing to me um, to, to other people. Uh, so I want to do that this morning. I'm, I'm down in the, uh, the feeding room in the barn. And um, in, in my devotion this morning, because um, the first thing I do when I get up, I, I read scripture and uh, spend some time in prayer, do, do a little worship. Um, John 8.32 was the main scripture this morning. It says, you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. Um, that's a lot of what Veritas Ministries is about, is, um, is, is breathing truth in the people. Um, so uh, my encouragement to you is, is that you're uh, in the Word and you're studying and you're, you're in prayer um, and you're allowing God's truth to be revealed to you. Um, and it does through Scripture. And, and I started really thinking a lot um, when I was preparing the, the grain and the different things for the horses this morning about, about food uh, for our bodies versus our food for our souls. And um, uh, these horses look forward to the mornings when I come out here and I, I get their grain and I, 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 I top off their water, um, just you know, give them fresh food and, and hay and different things. Um, and, I, and I'm just wondering, you know, how they feel when I get busy in the morning sometimes and I take off and I got to go do something in the morning. I don't, I don't feed them until the afternoon. Well, for me, I know I like to eat in the morning. I like to, I like to eat it in general. But, um, but my my body craves food and nourishment. And 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 when that doesn't happen, you know, our bodies don't function the way they need to. And I would imagine with the horses, they're they're feeling neglected. They're feeling uh, uh, like it's not important, and 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 the different things. And uh, for me. Um, you know, I want to, I want to, I want to look at that as into in my spiritual life, because if I don't eat in the morning spiritually, if I don't, if I don't nurture my 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 spirit um, every every morning and, and 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 before I even get out of bed, you know, I'm starving and I feel neglected, and it's hard to hear the truth of the world today. You know, through the world today. On, on, on all the you know, you know the mis messages and the uh, misinformation and the and the falseness that's out there. So I just encourage you this morning to get your Bibles open to to read God's Word, to allow the truth to set you free on a daily basis. Don't wait until Sunday mornings uh, for your preacher to preach to you. Don't wait until somebody uh, you know comes to you to feed you because I mean if you're depending on other people to feed you you're gonna starve and if you're depending on that that uh, 20 30 minutes of preaching on a Sunday morning to feed you for the week you're gonna starve so you need to get up and you need to feed yourself and you need to uh, take on the nourishment of, of the gospel in order to do the job that God's asking us to do so don't neglect your your spiritual self you know, in, in not being in the Word. That's my encouragement today. Um, again, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta feed the horses now. This is what they get to eat. I get to go eat some eggs and bacon and different things. But I guess they like this. Um, but um, again, um, you know, I was in the Word this morning. The Word, you know, revealed something to me. Um, you know. Uh, Scripture also says, you know, we, we start out on, on, on basically uh, spiritual milk. And as we develop, you know, we, we, we get our, our teeth into, into meat. And, <coughs> excuse me, and we, we tend to grow. Um, I know my grandbabies, you know, if you, you threw them on a bed and, and, and you fed them, you know, once a week, they'd starve to death. Matter of fact, those service would come in and probably take the kids because, because they're being neglected. Don't allow your spiritual lives to starve, to get malnutrition, to die off because you're not spiritually feeding yourself. 
again, it was good to talk with you this morning. Um, I'm going to try to do these uh, per- periodically um, because I, I miss just sharing the word and what God is, is telling me for the day. Um, um, Pastor Jeff over at Wesley, you know, he, he, he asked me a while back, he says, you know, are, are you struggling with being in the word because you're not preparing for a message every week? And, and my answer is no, because I'm not going to go spiritually hungry. I'm not going to starve myself that way. Now, I'm not saying it's not tough out there. It's hard, um, you know, uh, particularly when you're not necessarily preaching every Sunday. It's hard to get in the Word. You know, like this morning, you know, it's 18 degrees outside. It's hard to get up and get moving and, and go feed horses, but I know it's needed. I know it's, I know it's, uh, it's worth um, um, the sacrifice of being cold for a little bit. So a lot of times, you know, you have to get in a routine. You have to get into a priority mindset of what's important for you each and every morning. So again, um, read John 8.32. Let it pour into yourself this morning. Um, Allow God's word to penetrate your heart. Uh, Let me know what you're reading. Let me know what you're into, what you're you're studying right now. Would love to hear from it, from you. And uh, and again, God bless. Have a great day. And, And I pray you're stuffed with the gospel today.